when they want to be. Video games can be the most beautiful form of art out there. These video games certainly want to be. Will you stop being so mysterious and eat your breakfast? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 instances of unique art direction in video games. For this top 10, we're looking at the more artistic games that employ a unique graphical style effectively to make themselves stand out, instead of just trying to look the most realistic. Not only do these games look good, but often the art style directly influences the gameplay. Since cell shaded games aren't exactly unique these days, we've already got a list for the top 10 cell shaded games, so be sure to check that out too. Tear gas will be deployed. All officers on site, leave now. Number 10, Another World, aka Out of This World. We're starting off with an oldie, but boy has it aged into a strange work of art. This is the perfect instance of a game that sets itself apart with its beautiful art direction. Remember, this was 1991. The story of Boy Messes With Science Gets Sent To Another Dimension, Has To Fight Off Hordes Of Aliens Who Want To Dissect Him, isn't exactly earth shattering for a video game. But the game's minimalistic, flat color animations made up of simple polygons give it a unique feel that's, dare I say it, out of this world. Number 9, Paper Mario Series. It's right there in the title. Paper Mario is the beautiful result of everyone's favorite plumber being flattened onto a piece of paper. In this spin-off RPG series, players get to travel through the Mushroom Kingdom like they've never seen it before, entirely made of paper. It's a wild aesthetic choice that leads to a whole host of fun visual gags, and sometimes Mario's paper form even helps him save the day like when he has to turn into a paper airplane or a paper sailboat. Man, Nintendo gets creative, huh? <laughs> Number 8, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. Easily one of the most beautiful games on the Super Nintendo, Yoshi's Island reimagines the world as a magical art project come to life. The gorgeous visuals look like they were drawn with chalk and crayons, the colors are vivid, and everything's always buzzing with life. This art direction truly captures the innocence of the game. What could be more fitting for a game about a tiny baby Mario on a quest to save his baby brother Luigi? Number 7, Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Ready? Take it slow to start with, okay? Yep, got it! All right! If you ever wanted to run around in one of Hayao Miyazaki's famous anime films, this is your chance. Or at least the closest thing to it. When Studio Ghibli and Level 5 Studios teamed up to make an RPG of epic proportions, gamers everywhere shed tears of joy at the work of art the two studios concocted. Me? But how can I? Don't fret, man! It's a big responsibility, I know, but you'll be alright! Nino Kuni does a phenomenal job of capturing the style of Studio Ghibli's films, with fluid animation and the attention to detail that movie buffs have come to love, now conveniently packaged in video game form. Sound good to you? To whoever came up with this blessed union, Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. That's it, man! You got it! Number 6, Journey. An unexpected gem from the last generation, Journey is all about evoking emotion. Designed to make the player feel small amidst a world of wonder, this indie-developed critical darling takes players on a, you guessed it, journey through a beautifully rendered minimalistic desert. It might appear desolate at first, but what you can find there is lovingly rendered, from the mesmerizing sand to the fluttering cape of the player to the intricate and mysterious ruins littered around. It's truly a game that you have to experience to appreciate, so grab your cloak and set off on a journey of your own. Number 5, The Neverhood. Claymation is a sort of lost art these days, due to its time-consuming process and niche appeal. But that didn't stop Earthworm Jim creator Doug Tenaple from creating this elaborate world with over three tons of clay. This quirky point-and-click adventure was rendered entirely out of clay and stop-motion technology, giving it a look that's completely unique. Yeah. 
Or at least it was until recently. 2015 saw the release of Armacrog, a spiritual successor that came out nearly two decades later. But unfortunately, it's not great. Tommy, Tommy, don't touch that thing. You don't know where it's been. Number four, Tearaway series. Get your confetti ready for this PlayStation treasure from the minds that brought us Little Big Planet. If you've ever played one of these games, you know just how beautiful and innovative these designers are with their worlds. <laughs> Look at them all pouring in. That will give this story a nasty twist. This time, you play as either Iota or Atoi in a mesmerizing landscape inspired by papercraft, meaning it looks like it's made out of construction paper. With solid gameplay that's anything but paper thin, this imagination-powered adventure is one you won't be able to tear yourself away from. A bone is forming. Number three, Limbo. No, we're not talking about bending backwards and dancing under a pole. This is a totally different kind of limbo. This 2D side-scroller presents itself in entirely black and white tones, and you're given the task of guiding a little nameless boy through an eerie black and white forest. The art, which masterfully plays with shadows and silhouettes, is as unsettling as it is beautiful. It's minimalism at its finest, and possibly at its creepiest, too. Number two, Kirby's Epic Yarn. On a brighter note, literally, Kirby continues to be one of the most colorful platforming series around. And this time we've got an adventure that has some texture to it. If the title didn't spoil it for you, everything in this game, from the enemies to the levels to the little pink ball himself, is rendered out of yarn. It's so full of charming visual gags and imaginative levels that Nintendo decided to pull out the yarn ball again for 2015's Yoshi's Woolly World. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1, Monument Valley. If you've ever looked at an MC Escher painting and thought, wow, that would make a great video game level, you'd probably be called crazy. That is until 2014, when the indie studio Us2 had that very same idea and released one of the most unique looking games ever, Monument Valley. <laughs> It's a minimalistic, geometric, totally enchanting puzzle game that has players finding their way through cleverly designed optical illusions in a beautiful isometric world. Its style is minimalistic, atmospheric, and artistic all at once, and that's all integral to the game's mind-boggling puzzle solving. And yes, you may have seen Frank Underwood playing it. I guess it's just that good. Your journey is one through a forgotten landscape of twisting staircases and morphing castles, cobwebbed with ruins M.C. Escher could only grasp at in a dream state. Do you agree with our list? Honestly, I wish you'd think before you open your mouth. Did we miss any museum-worthy games? For more mind-blowing top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Ooh, look at that. I think they liked it too.